I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. We now have a jailbreak for iOS devices running the firmware 5.1.1. That is excluding the new Apple TV. So it's very simple to jailbreak. All you need to do is make sure you download the latest version of Absinthe. I'll have a link to that in the description. You can download it for your Mac, you can download it for Windows, and you can also download it for Linux, no matter which one you want to use. So once you do have it downloaded, you will want to make sure that you have your phone backed up via iTunes and you do want to have your phone connected to your computer. Once you're ready, all you're going to do now is you're going to run the Absinthe program. Now as you can see here, when I launched it, it brings it up. This is the version 2.0.1. Uh, it shows me right over here that this is the iPhone 4S, iOS 5.1.1. It's been detected and all we have to do now is just click the jailbreak button. So now the device is being jailbroken. It says here this could take a while. So I will come back to the video once it's near the end of the process. While this is going on, I should quickly point out, if you have been using a tethered jailbreak, you don't have to go through this process. All you have to do is go into Cydia and you're going to search for a program called Rocky Raccoon. You, once you have that, all you have to do is install it onto your device. Now you want to make sure you leave that program on your device. That's what makes your jailbreak untethered. So again, if you are using a tethered jailbreak for your device, again, go to Cydia, download Rocky Raccoon, run it, and keep it on your device, and you will now be untethered. So we've moved along to the next step in the jailbreak process. It says sending final jailbreak data. Your device will appear to be restoring a backup. Now this also may take a few moments. As you can see, it says restore in progress on my iPhone 4S. All right, we're almost done. It says waiting for reboot. Do not unplug your device yet. So just let it go through the process. As you can see, the spinning wheel right there, we are rebooting this iPhone 4S. We are almost done with this jailbreak. All right, so we're back to our home screen here. It is not done jailbreaking yet, so I had advised not sliding the unlock there. As you can see, back on my computer here, we're just waiting for it to finish, and now it's actually done. It says enjoy. All right, so the jailbreaking process is done, so let's go see. Slide to unlock, and we'll just focus in on the phone right now. We'll slide over to an empty spot, and as you can see, Cydia has installed. We can tap that, and this should open Cydia. It is loading right now. This may take a little while your first time. This is a new jailbreak, of course, so there are a lot of people doing it, but this has gone pretty fast. It's reloading all the packages. But once again, this is a really simple jailbreak process, so congratulations to everybody who worked on this, the Chronic Dev team. Great job, really simple jailbreaks, really easy to do. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For more daily iPhone and iPad news, make sure you check out iPhone in Canada and iPadinCanada.ca. And of course, as I mentioned, I'll have a link in the description on where you can go to download the latest version of Absinthe so that you can do this jailbreak yourself. It's actually going to be a link to iPhone in Canada. That way I can just change that and they'll have the newest versions of Absinthe as they are released. So once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.